Hey guys, my name is Rybro, and welcome to The Last Time, a game I haven't played in forever. Uh, and uh, the full game came out, so uh, this is the continued part from the To Be Continued. And so if you don't know what this game is about, let me refresh your minds. So basically, this is a story about an old man who is retired and hasn't had connection to people or internet or uh, any of that uh, nice stuff. So I'm here going to play the full game for you guys. I don't know where it's going to leave off, but I'm pretty sure where it ended is a guy sitting in a couch, I think. And I think this is where it's going to start. I, I don't know. This game features tutorial tips and recommendations for new players to events to adventure games. Uh, yes, please. I'd like to. I'd like the tutorial. Tutorials are for wimps. That's not really picking one. As you wish. Thank you. So you knew this game was awesome. Buckinghamshire, England, 1976. Oh, is this playing from? Oh. So since it's been a year or so, I'm going to play through the whole game, uh, and hopefully in one video. I don't know how many parts though, because I barely remember what happened. But I remember this car scene with this lovely man. Four hours on patrol without a single crime. Don't you just love nights like this? Uh, I prefer action. Uh, yes, I, I like this. You said it. It's nice to have some peace and quiet. Yeah, and then he starts talking. <laughs> it's lucky that we got posted to a rural area. Plenty of peace and quiet out here. <laughs> and then that whoosh. I gotta admit though, it can be a bit dull sometimes. Good job I've got you for company, Jack. Come on, entertain me. Uh, I don't know. Tell a joke or sing a song. I I prefer to sing a song. I'd sing a song. How about a song? Perfect. Okay, here goes. <laughs> la 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 la. Something something. What's wrong, man? You get nervous or something? Ugh. No. That's how it's that's how it's done. La 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 la. Just forgot the lyrics. No, those were the lyrics. Shame. You got a good singing voice. Ah, maybe you chose the wrong career. Hey, you know what day it is today? Uh, Tuesday? Your birthday, St. Patrick's Day? It's not Tuesday. Saturday. Uh, is it your birthday? It's not your birthday, is it? If it is, I swear I didn't forget. I just left your card at home by accident. Mate, don't worry about it. My birthday's not until June. Okay. Can you believe we've known each other five years? Uh, it kind of feels like it because I played this game over a year ago. So, no, I, I can't believe it. I know, it's hard to believe, right? The years have flown by. Yeah, tell me about it. Do you remember how we met? Uh, uh, uh yeah, obviously it was... In the elevator. How could I forget? I met you in the elevator back at the station. Yeah, and you knocked into me and spilled my coffee all on my uniform. It was hilarious. Come on, you've got to admit that was really fun. I wish you could have seen the look on your face. I'll fix all your stuff. That's what I love about you, Jack. You never take anything too seriously. Ugh. These patrols will be really boring without you, that's for sure. But you know who does have a good singing voice? Snow Patrol. This, this is Dispatch calling officers Glover and Price. <sighs> Sorry, speak more clearer. This is Dispatch calling officers Glover and Price. Repeat, this is Dispatch calling officers Glover and Price. Dispatch, this is Price. We've got a report of a burglary error in your area. Is the burglary still in progress? Negative. The homeowner called and said that their place has been broken into, but that it was empty by the time they got back. So, we just needed to gather evidence. Affirmative. Ugh. And not lose our voices. What's the address? 13 Evergreen Place. Got it. Dispatch, we're on our way. Aww. Should I ring the doorbell or... I'll be nice.
Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Looks like they're not coming. What's it? Shut up! <laughs> no one's here! I don't think anyone's gonna answer. Shall we go in? Uh, sure. The door's already open. <laughs> no, it's the kid. I'm not sure about this, Darren. It's okay, Jack. I've got your back. Anyone home? It's the police! Anyone home? Is anyone uh, home? I think the TV's trying to say something. Where do you think the owner is? Hiding? <laughs> Maybe they're hiding somewhere? They could be scared. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, we rang the doorbell at least like five more times than we should have. What about the door? How do you think the burglar got in? Uh... Forced entry? Uh, I don't know. Did the house look nice from the outside? Maybe pick the lock? Maybe they picked the lock? I don't see any signs of forced entry. Good point. Hey, I'm gonna dust the door for f f fingerprints. You mind checking around the house for the owner? <laughs> what? You're gonna check the door for fingerprints. Don't you- can't you just look? Like for two seconds and then you're done? No problem. Thanks, buddy. Like, what is that? Thanks, Jack. The noise was starting to annoy me. Can I turn it back on? There's no point in turning the television back on. What? Aw. No, there's no noise. It's just awkward. With him doing whatever that is. I think Darren would appreciate it if I left the light on. Why? He's not doing anything. I sure would. Why? He knows where the door handle is by now. Or the door. Whatever he's using. With his hand. Velvet curtains. Whoever lives here must have money. Even if they don't have taste. Uh, that means we go to the fridge. Did you, oh, wait, no. What's the photo? No, the photograph. An old man. The homeowner? With what looks like a couple of grandkids. Jesus. Er, Jesus. I've only got only one kid and I can barely handle him. I can't imagine running around after grandkids when I'm old. Okay. It's a painting of a ship. It looks like it's in a storm. Oh, no. Wouldn't want to be there. It's a painting of a valley. Reminds me of the time when my parents took me on a trip the north of England when I was a child. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh. Can't see a thing. Need some light. Just keep going. It's fine. Get... Can you please? Oh. Uh. I think. <laughs> I remember that. Holy fuck. There's a gun. I better take this for forensic analysis. We'll find a corner, a corner, a coroner along for this guy. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you alive? Just checking. <laughs> Blood spatter. Looks like the victim was shot in front. Self-inflicted? No. No, no. I hope not. Oh, wait. Oh, I remember this. Oh, uh, no. Nope. I clicked on Movie Maker. Sorry. Should leave the light on. Darren needs to come and see this. Darren! It's a body. I don't want to go downstairs. There's scary music playing. Yeah. Don't come any closer. I'm sorry, Jack. I was trying to stop him from leaving. Shut up! Just shut up! None of this was supposed to happen. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, just calm down. Just calm down. No one needs to do anything stupid. I've already done something stupid, man. Drop the gun! You telling me what to do, bitch? I'll kill this guy, I swear! Um... 
No one has to get hurt. It's too late. It's too late. Oh, he's turned around, but he. T uh, I don't know. Take it easy. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. You don't have to do this. Okay, I've stopped with that, even though it's fun. I never meant to do this. Everything will be okay. I don't know if it can ever be okay. Just relax. How can I relax after what happened? Take some deep breaths. <sighs> I'm breathing. It's gonna be fine. Oh, what's gonna happen if I keep doing the nice answers? I'm not fine, man. How long is this gonna go on for? Think rationally. It's too late for that. Keep a clear head. What's gonna happen? I can't. Everything's so messed up. If I let this guy go, do you promise you won't send me to prison? Yes, I promise. Hmm. What? I'm not what? <laughs> Didn't like that ending. You knew something would go bad if- uh, Mr. Glover? Mr. Glover? What? Ah, there we are, Mr. Glover. We were having a nice little- were, were we having a nice little nap? Yeah. And you scared me with your face ponytail. Uh, Badger, uh, you, you woke me. I was having a perfectly lovely nap until you interrupted it, Josephine. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Glover. You poor thing. Yeah. Let me make it up to you. Is there anything I can get you to make you more comfortable? Uh, chocolate, a beer, a hug, nothing. I want all these things. Or, uh, except nothing. Uh, the chocolate would be good. How about a beer? How about a beer? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Glover, but I'm not allowed to bring you any alcohol. You you know how angry you get when you're drunk. Uh, can you get me anything, then? You want to see how angry I get when I don't have any beer? There's no need for that, Mr. Glover. You know, you should, you should get out of your room more often. It won't do you any good to stay cooped in here all day long. I'd best check on the other residents now. You have a good day, Mr. Glover. Okay. Well, this is where we left off. <sighs> this is where we left off, uh, where the game ended. Oh, I'm so popular. People call me. Hello? Hello? Is this Jack Glover? Uh, he is speaking. Thank God! It's taken me ages to track you down. I need to talk to you about your old partner. Why, Mr. Voice on Telephone? What? How do you know Darren? It's a little difficult to explain. It's better if we meet in person. There's a park around the corner from your old folks home. Meet me there in ten minutes. Fine. I'll be there. <laughs> Whoa. Your legs moved. Your legs moved. Okay. There's a newspaper clipping in here that I've kept for 40 years. Policeman shot dead in front of fellow officer in bung bungled heist negotiation with burglar. The burglar was subsequent subsequently arrested and has been sentenced to life imprisonment. Good. Sources indicate that the officer has since resigned from the force. He has been unable to reach for comment. Is there anything else in here? Toilet? I'll go when I've got half an hour to kill. Oh, okay. Oh, I left the sink on. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens if I leave that on. <laughs> hello? Hello? Hi, Penny. Morning, ladies. Good morning, Jack. Nice of you to come visit. Uh. <laughs> what, what's that smell? <laughs> okay. What's that smell? It's her. No, it's her. Calm down, ladies. I'm sure it's both of you. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I have to pick... Want to go out? How's it going? 
All the better for seeing you, Jack. And your words, good looks! <laughs> Same to you. You girls definitely have a certain ruggedness about you. You're a shameless flatterer, Jack! Don't I know it? Uh, wanna go out? What does that mean? You girls fancy getting out of here? Ooh, you mean like on a date? Uh, I don't know. I don't wanna say no way, like I'm. A... I just mean leaving the building. Tease. Okay, bye. Catch you later, alligator. In a while, you handsome young man. Don't go too far. <laughs> uh, I like doing voices. It's a social events notice board. Oh, as a poster advertising the weekly bingo game. It's been there bef since before I arrived here. I want to play bingo. I love bingo. Hey, it's Willard. How's it going, Willard? Everything is splendid, Bravit. No side of the enemy. <laughs> is he just staring at a wall, making sure it doesn't move? If it moves like the tiniest bit, he'll catch it. He'll be like, anime! Glad to hear it. Uh, see you later, I guess. At ease, soldier. Okay. Front door. Ah, the great outdoors. It's been a while. It's no good. It won't open manually. It's operated by a button behind the front desk. Well, we should do that then. Though it is just glass. I think I could break out if I hit it hard enough. <laughs> I'll find another way. Uh, it's not worth it. I'm sure Josephine will open the door if I ask her nicely. Yeah, but she wouldn't do anything. Hey, could you push a button, please? How can I help you, Mr. Cla uh, I'd like to leave. Could you open the door, please? I'd like to leave. It's very chilly outside today, Mr. Glover. I wouldn't want you to- <gasps> Please. I'm sorry, but- Fuck you. I'm doing myself. If only I could cause a distraction somehow. He has a beard to do that. I have nothing. What did you say, Mr. Glover? Nothing. Please try the other side. <laughs> Uh, how about I just break the glass? I knew I didn't like Josephine. <laughs> ah! What do you think you're doing? I'm just going for a walk. Off the building, it looks like. I'm going for a walk. That's what I'm doing. But See you around. Bye! Forever. Hopefully. Oh, okay. There's, there's floor there. Ah. Oh, nice floor to walk on. It looked like th there was nothing. It was like a balcony. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Did you... Oh, was she on the phone? Oh, I did like a... Uh, like a choking voice. Uh, did you call me? Or are you the person who called me this morning? Yeah, that was me. Thank God. Eh. I've already asked five people. They must have thought I was c senile. Yeah, sorry about that. I probably should have told you what I was like or something. Nah, that's not your fault. I didn't think to ask. I'm not as sharp as I used to be. <laughs> Coming from a pixelated game. <laughs> okay. Dude, what was that? Hey, do you mind if I drink coffee while we talk? It's kind of early for me. It's ten o'clock. Exactly. Fine. I don't get a... I don't get a hug. I don't get a beer. I don't get a coffee. Go ahead. Whatever. Is that blood on your cardigan? Yeah, I think so. What do you want? <laughs> I broke through the front. I broke through the front door of my care home to get y to you. Cool. I didn't expect an eighty-year-old man er, to be such a badass. I'm seventy. What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about Darren. He's my grandfather. 
I was hoping you could tell me about him. What he was like. I don't get it. Why now? I only found out about him last week. There was an article about him in the newspaper. Apparently the guy who killed him has just been released from prison. What? Sorry, this is a lot to take in. You said the guy who killed Darren is out of prison now? Yeah, that's what it said in the newspaper. Anyway, the guy's name is Carl Forrest. Something. It was Carl For uh, uh, Foster. Carl Foster, that's the one. It didn't go into a lot of detail, though. How exactly did my grandfather die? The guy shot him in the head. It was my fault. I didn't manage to talk him out of it. I think I provoked him. I tried. I did all the nice answers. You saw me. Shit! Oh, sorry. This is supposed to be an emotional scene. Sorry. Sorry. Don't worry about it. For what it's worth, it doesn't sound to me like it was your fault. You tried to talk the guy out of it. That's what I would have done. You did your best. That's all anyone can do. I guess. Thanks. I'm still on coffee. So what happened next, anyway, to the guy? Uh, I have no idea. Black screen? <laughs> uh, yeah, I knocked him out. I knocked that bastard out. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh. I never knew any of my grandparents. And my mom died when I was too young to remember her. My dad's a complete dick. When I saw that article, I thought, Hey, my grandfather was a police officer. That's something. What was he like? Kind, brave, or smart? Um... He was kind. He was kind. He always put me first. He sounds nice. It's a shame my dad doesn't take after him. What's that smell? Nothing. Err. Uh. Yeah, it's the err uh in the air. It smells of burning. There's smoke over there. Isn't that coming from your care home? I don't see it. No, if I don't see it, it's not happening. I'm that kind of person. Oh, I see it now! What the hell? It's just in that one spot. Mr. Glover, you got some news coming back here after your appalling behavior earlier. Shut up! If the big battle's worse, then we're going to lose a resident in this fire. Lose a resident? What do you mean? Mr. Willard refused to leave. There was no convincing him. Oh, he's my favorite character so far. Because I hate all of you. Of course, there was no convincing him. He's got dementia. I can't believe you just let him in there to burn. It didn't need to be so aggressive, Mr. Glover. Shut up! Uh, I'm going in there to save him. Ah, uh, don't you think you should wait for the fire service to arrive? It could be too late by then. There's no time to lose. I'm going in. Damn, it's smoky in here. Oh! I don't know how much I can take before I pass out. That's an inside joke if you didn't. Don't walk back out! <laughs> I won't give up on him. I'm not leaving here without him. I've only known him for like two seconds. <sighs> ah, my feet! I'm coming, Mr. Werewark! I'm, cl I'm collecting as fast as I can. Nope. It's. Uh oh! Ah, ah, ah. I'm not gonna touch the door while it's on fire. I have to find a way to put it out. Um, okay. Do I have something in here? Oh, my bed! Yeah, I, I know! <laughs> the door's in the way. What? Oh. I hate you! You're so slow! I've got a towel now! That can put out the fire! For the door! Mr. Whaler, just hang on a few more hours and I'll have this done for you! Urgh. Towel! Not a bad idea, but a dry towel isn't gonna help me put out the fire. Yes, it will! Wouldn't it? 
I'm, I'm putting it on the fire. Oh my god! See, I told you a couple hours. Old pants. That won't help. Telephone! Who would I call? The emergency services were already be on their way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just like call my friend just, hey! What's up? I'm burning. Ooh, I know what to do. Ah, oh, that's oh okay. I get it. Yes. Okay. We're so slow. I hate it. Mr. Willard, please don't be dead yet. I tried. I. Mr. Willard. Come on, Willard. It's time to get out of here. Willard? Leave me be here, soldier. You'll die if you stay in here. The building's on fire, for Christ's sake. I'm aware of the danger, soldier. I was supposed to die on the battlefield. Now is my chance. I want it to end here. Leave me be. Leave, that's an order. I'm done taking orders, soldier. I gave my life to the military. At least I can ask for is the right to end it. Please, Jack. This is my way out. Don't take it away from me. If there's something I'm taking away from you, it's you from the fire. I'm gonna save Willard. I can't let you die, Willard. Not like this. I'm getting you out of here. Please tell me I'm not dead. Wow, nice job. I gotta admit, I didn't think you had it in you. Neither did I. He didn't want me to save him. He wanted me him to let me die. Ugh, I said that wrong. <laughs> wow, do you think you did the right thing? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I, I, I'm not sure. It's hard to know what the right thing is sometimes. Hey, maybe there is no right thing. Either way, it took guts to do what you just did. Don't beat yourself up about it. I guess. Looks like I'm gonna need to find somewhere else to stay for a while. You got anyone you can stay with? Like friends or family? Um, no. Well, you can sleep on the sofa at my place if you want. It's not much, but it beats sleeping on a park bench. Eh. How about I take your couch, bring it all the way here, and sleep here? <laughs> that's, that's really kind of you. I don't know what to say. You're welcome. Come on, let's catch a bus. I guess you, I guess, I guess you get free public transport when you're 80. <laughs> I'm 70. Whatever. <laughs> I think I've been recording for the how long? I've, rec I've been recording for 42 minutes. Where did the time go? <laughs> This is a really cool game. I, I like where the story is going. I have no idea what's gonna happen next. Uh, ooh, window. It's sunny out. Yeah, it is sunny out. It's sunny out here. <laughs> Cord just hit the mic. Uh, but anyways, this is a really cool game. It's nice. It's point and click. I don't really play those often, but I really like the story. And uh, I'm trying to get this out before Jay does. So, <laughs> but anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. So. Bye for now. Grab your hand.